On a survey of 700 AI researchers carried out in 2022, 48% thought there was at least a 10% chance of extremely bad outcomes from artificial intelligence. But evaluating the impact of powerful AI systems is tricky, since even if it does not kill anyone at the start, we might still end up dying further down the line when systems get more advanced. In this video, we'll explore the different states where humanity might end up 10 years after building powerful AI systems, as described in Paul Cristiano's post, My Views on Doom. For some context, Paul Cristiano was the first author on the Deep Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback paper, which introduced RLHF, the core technology behind ChatGPT. Let's start our exploration with the most optimistic future. In this scenario, humanity has managed to harness the transformative power of advanced AI systems, and is able to realize its full potential. For instance, by expanding into a galaxy-sized civilization. In all the other futures, however, humanity's potential has been forever curtailed. Which brings us to our second scenario. In this world, the deployment of powerful AI systems ended up in most humans dying. This could happen because of an AI takeover, but this could also just be the consequence of some nuclear war using AI or simply powerful AI systems being misused, potentially giving rise to some engineered pandemic. Finally, the third scenario includes all the different possibilities in which most humans are alive, though we messed up in some way because of the accelerated technological changes. These include driving ourselves crazy, creating a permanent dystopia, or making unwise commitments. To summarize, we've discussed three main scenarios, Good futures, where humanity's future still has potential. Almost extinction futures, where most humans are dead. And alternative messed up futures. In practice, we can distinguish between these scenarios by asking two binary questions. Can humanity still reach for the stars? If yes, well done, you're in a good future. Then, if the answer to the first question was no, we ask a second question. Are most humans alive? or are they mostly dead? We can then further break these scenarios down by asking whether there has been an AI takeover, which gives us a two by two matrix, where each quadrant corresponds to a different kind of bad future. Now, the AI that takes over could have been either directly built by humans or be itself created by some other AI. Let's now synthesize what we've covered so far by looking at this diagram where each specific path in the flowchart corresponds to a different trajectory for humanity. The first branching is between good futures and irreversibly messed up futures. Let's assume humanity managed to somehow mess up. The first possibility is that this was caused by an AI takeover. The second scenario we might face is one where most humans die for other reasons. And in the third outcome, most humans manage to survive but humanity's potential was still forever curtailed. As we mentioned before, the AI takeover case can be further broken down into two subcases. We either get a takeover from a human-made AI, or we get a takeover from an AI made by another AI. In these two subclasses, we could end up either with most humans dead, or in some irreversibly messed up future where most humans survive. In a nutshell, the three end states for humanity are one, futures where most humans die, two, irreversibly messed up futures where most humans survive, and three, good futures. Now you may have noticed that the different pathways are more or less thick. This is because the size of the flows are proportional to the probabilities that Paul assigns to each trajectory in his blog post. The main takeaway is that, according to Paul, the probability that we end up with most humans dead 10 years after humanity builds powerful AI systems is roughly 20%, or 1 in 5, which is not that high. However, the total probability of ending up in a messed up future is much higher, at roughly 50%, or 1 in 2. For more details, I would recommend reading Paul's post, My Views on Doom, with the link in the description. Thank you for watching. For more video explainers about the future of AI, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to watch early previews or get access to unreleased footage, I've recently created a Patreon page where you can subscribe to seven different tiers of access. Link in the description.